Yeah, I was um, just tangentially, I was working in a tailor's in East London and this was one of the common things that I was getting asked. Oh, we're doing a production here. Can you lend, it, lend us or loan us suits? You know, we've got, the, we've got a version of the craze going out in a couple of weeks and we need X amount. Um, I would then phone up the boss and he goes, yeah, give him this, that and that. And so we would end up doing a lot of loans and mm. kind of do that in, uh, with, as a reward of exposure. Is that how it kind of works with you guys or are you a little bit more, um, no, I, is it different? I, I, won't, I won't give, give them give anything for nothing. I just don't think it's right just to give, give the product away. Yeah. I mean, uh, shoes take eight to 10 weeks to make 200 operations. They're, you know, they're, they're quality shoes. I'm not going to give them away. I mean, obviously films have budgets, you know, and they will try and get them for free. I get that. That's what they've got to do. But no, I mean, we, people we get to know who work with a lot, we'll give them a bit of a discount. We have a set discount on there. You know, people we don't know, we only just started to get to know, probably not as much, you know. And we need to know who they are as well. Because, you know, you've got to do a bit of background checking. And, you know, yeah. You need to establish that. that. They would say they're stylists and they send you an email going, I need six shoes for a great film to more, you know, for Tom Hanks. And yeah. you, you know, you need to know who these people are. And here's a photoshopped picture of me next to Tom Hanks. You know, it must be true. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You've got to be so careful. You know, yeah. Some people go, oh, this is Tom Hanks, send them. You go, no, you don't. You have to find out who these people are. So, but yeah, we, we, we get to know, we've got to know a lot of stylists and costume people over the last 20 years. And going back to bond with the relationship with that did you get any perks like coming down to the set or going to a special screening um was there anything as a little treat for you guys for being I involved was, i was invited to to go to the set one of the, on one of the films i remember it was like if it was like two or three in the morning i think it was the scene where they was where they was doing um the tube train was sort of crashing down into the underground. I think it was. I think it was that one. I, mean, I think it was like two or three. And sun, si, sunny at silly o'clock in the morning. I was just. I, I just wasn't up for it. <laughs> <laughs> did so, they... I mean, it was quite late notice as well. Actually, I did ask actually a couple of times, but it, it doesn't matter. It, I'm just happy that we do the, we do the shoes. We do the, we're associated with you know with the films. That's great. I'd love to see that email. Like Stephen, we actually we don't want you just to be on the set. We want you to be in the train. Because we haven't got anyone in it at the minute, and it looks a bit no. weird. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if they want to be in it. I think, <laughs> it, was, I think it was a last minute thing by the costume guy, when, you know, because I kept saying to him, "Can I come? You know, can I come along and see a bit of filming?" So, bless him, he kind of, you know, he found a slot, but it was a, wasn't the best slot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two a.m. is a brutal time. <laughs> yeah. Um, so moving on to No Time to Die, you now have the the James shoe. It's a limited edition shoe. Yeah. Uh, what what can we uh, learn about the James shoe, Steve? Well, it's, it's a very iconic shoe for us. It's, you know, it's, 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 it's the, the whole cut is a beautiful shoe, something that we were sort of renowned for. And it's a shoe that's appeared, you know, it appeared first in Skyfall and it's been in Spectre. Um, and I, we wanted a shoe and I thought we needed a shoe that, when I mean, people think of James Bond, you know, the image of James Bond is tuxedo first. He, you know, everyone sees James Bond tuxedo. But I didn't want to do a paint and leather shoe. So I wanted something that was like, you could, we could high shine to a very high shine toes and heels to make them very dressy. So you could wear them with the tux. Also, you, it would double up as a day wear shoe. So that was, that was my idea behind that shoe. Um, and then we did it in a top spec in our hand gray with channeled soles. So that, that was, and, it, and it's been, you know, it's been in part of Bond, you know, uh, since the beginning. Right. And I noticed on the website, there was a comment from Sutra and La Lab, the costume designer for No Time to Die. Yeah. Do you have any conversations with Sutra and maybe even Daniel on how you want the shoe to look? Is there conversations going ahead or is it kind of left in your court on to how it should look? No, well, well, originally when, when uh, they, the, the, the conversation about licensing came up at the beginning of the 2019, um, we had an initial, I had an initial meeting here in Germany Street with Sutra and the on production people and they went through the range and picked out what they wanted. And you know, it's not my job to push them, what shoes onto them, what they want. It's me just to find what they're asking. So yeah, it's whatever they need, we'll try and accommodate. Right. On that. Interesting. And so, I mean, it just seems such a lateral move for you guys to be a part of the licensing, having already been in two films previously. Yeah. How, how happy were you guys when the, when the deal, I guess the licensing deal was finally sealed. Was there a little mini celebration in the shop? 
Yeah, <laughs> it was for Mark. Yeah, for me definitely because I've been pushing for it for a while, um, and it's quite time consuming. And uh, you know, you, you've, got, you've got to read through the contracts and read through and read through. So yeah, it takes up a lot of a lot of time and a lot of my managing director's time. And he's very patient with it, which is great. Um, so yeah, it was it was a relief to get it finally signed off and and you know, put to bed so that we could then concentrate on creating the product and, and promoting it. Yeah, very exciting because we a bit more. We, we was less. We was very, we was restricted a little bit Sky Form Inspector because we wasn't one of the sort of official partners, right? Like like, like Amiga and Aston Martin. So it made it change. It sort of changed everything once you become that license. You get that license deal. So how does that work when they use your products in the film? How are you? But you say you're not a license holder then. How are you able to kind of advertise and align yourself, um, or can you even like, for example, are you? A, Pre No Time to Die, say it's a Spectre release. Are you allowed to post a picture on your Instagram with Daniel Craig, like wearing the uh, I don't know the the Alex shoe or something like that? You you have to get you have to um, there was certain there was certain parameters, but things that weren't in those parameters, we'd ask the question. We wouldn't we would never go ahead and just chance our luck and put something out there. We, we'd right. always ask, you know, get permission, and if they said no, we wouldn't do it. Right. So, you know, we respect you know Elon massively, and we wouldn't you know step over we wouldn't step over the line, and we we kept to what they said we could do. Right, interesting.